Hello and welcome to a new video. I hope that you are staying safe and healthy and in this video I am painting a watercolour pumpkin. Before starting the tutorial I'm going to quickly go over the materials. I am using my Winsor and Newton watercolour brushes, my Sign Me Aquarelle brush pens and my Kansan 300 GSM mixed media sketchbook. So I started off with a line drawing of the pumpkin, so using a few reference photos in front of me and picking what I like to add to my own drawing. I started with the stem as this is the centre from where I can draw the curved ridges of the pumpkin from. From the stem you can see how wide to make your pumpkin and then working my way round to draw the curved segments of the pumpkin. Because of the pumpkin's rounded shape, the segments furthest away will be shorter and thinner and then as the pumpkin curves round getting closer to us, the segments will be wider and longer so you can bear this in mind if you want to get that rounded three dimensional shape. When I was happy with my pumpkin line drawing, then I went over it to make a cleaner, darker line and then I gently rubbed over the drawing, leaving the darker outline still showing but having my sketchy lines rubbed out. So although I am using markers to paint this pumpkin, I am using the markers exactly how I would with watercolours, but using ink instead of watercolours. So I chose the colours I wanted to use that I will be mixing and I put it on my plastic sheet which I am using as my palette. Anything that is smooth, flat and won't soak up the colours will be fine. So starting with the orange segments of the pumpkin, I like to focus on one segment at a time and I start with the lightest parts of the segment so that is seeing where the light is which will be your highlight which you don't paint and leave the page white and then around the highlight I painted in yellows and very light oranges and then painting in the shadows which will be with the red oranges and browns. For the colour orange, since it is made up of red and yellow mixed together, to make a lighter orange you mix in more yellow and have more water on your brush than paint so it is a very light layer. If you want to make a darker orange then you can mix in more red with the yellow making that ready orange. And for the darkest shadows you can mix your ready orange with brown. If you want to make your brown darker then you can slowly add a little bit of black but be careful with making your colours too dark because as always with watercolour painting you can't remove the dark paint so it's better to start light and slowly make it darker as you go. When you are painting your pumpkin, you should be carefully looking at your reference photo, looking at how the colours and tone changes, and being aware of where the light is coming from to help you know where to add your shadows. So with my pumpkin, the light is coming from the top right, so the shadows are gradually getting darker as you get to the left, and the bottom of the segments are dark with shadows too. Because I wanted my pumpkin to have more texture, you can see that I paint with a lot of short strokes following the curve of the segments and using a wet on dry technique. When going from the lights, which is mostly at the top of the pumpkin, and gradually getting to the darker, it is not one smooth gradient but has darker tones laid on top with light streaks of the layer below showing through.
when focusing on the one segment that I am painting at a time, focusing on a color and a tone rather than focusing on trying to make it look like a pumpkin helps me to focus more on what I am looking at and the small details, which helps to make it more realistic. Also, don't be too shy to make the shadows darker and slowly build in the shadows. The shadows really help to make the form of whatever you're painting pop off the page. After some tweaking, I was happy with the body of the pumpkin and I painted in my stem. So I got a light green, a dark green, a brown and a black. So my stem was quite dark and so I started with the darks first as I wasn't afraid of making it too dark and I wanted the lines of the stem to be more defined as they were hard for me to see. Then I added the mid and lightest tones, making it darker at the bottom and gradually lighter as it got to the middle. I defined the shadows and lines a bit more and then we are done. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this pumpkin and want to see other fruit and vegetable videos like this, then you can check out my watercolor fruit and veggies playlist. I would really appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe for weekly Saturday videos where I paint flowers, animals, landscapes, as well as other watercolor and drawing related videos. And as always, God bless and I'll see you later.